The Maryland Terps men's <laughs> basketball team is looking to get hot as the regular season kind of winds down. The Terps return to the floor tonight in College Park, and that's where we find WMAR 2 News. Sean Stepner with a preview and more on another conference foe. It's been almost a full month since the Terps authored back-to-back -back wins. They have the chance to clinch that tonight against Penn State. They got a couple guards that do a great job of getting downhill, then they got some guys that can make some shots. But but for us, you know, the, the, the simple formula is defend and rebound. Maryland hosts the Nittany Lions at 7 p.m. The Terrapins coming off a 16-point win over last place Nebraska. Six Maryland players reaching double figures for the first time since December of 2018. Fats Russell had 23. He's got a really good feel now for facilitating the offense, but also when to be aggressive and go make something happen. Ian Martinez with a flashy 10 points on Friday. Played really, really well the other night. Defensively, he had his hands were very active, got in the passing lanes, created some steals and transition opportunities for us in the fast break. Did a really good job defensively of getting over ball screens. Ian's athleticism really helped us out. And, um, you know, we'll continue to need those types of contributions from him. Penn State, only two games better in the Big Ten than 4-11 and 11 Maryland. They arrived playing well. Two straight wins and their previous three losses by a total of nine points. Of course, the entire conference and college basketball world still buzzing about that ugly incident that took place on Sunday between Michigan and Wisconsin. A melee erupting in the handshake line. Wolverines head coach Juwan Howard upset Wisconsin called timeouts late in the game. They won by 14, then striking a Badgers assistant. And this isn't the first time Howard has had a dust up with an opposing coach. Less than a year ago, Big Ten tournament, he got into it with then Maryland head coach Mark Turgeon. Howard ejected from that contest. No disciplinary action announced as of yet, resulting from yesterday's brawl. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.